For regrettably, they were not caught by national standards. Question number 11, Shane Arden. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My, my question is to the Minister of Primary Industries and asks What announcements has he made on strengthening New Zealand's biosecurity systems? Honourable Nathan Guy. Mr. Speaker, last week I presented official appointment certificates to 32 new quarantine inspectors and five new detector dog handlers. 16 of the new inspectors will be based in Auckland, eight will go to Wellington and eight to Christchurch. Three new dog teams will go to Auckland and one will both go to Wellington and Queenstown. The new frontline recruits will further strengthen New Zealand's biosecurity frontline. These appointments mean close to 100 new quarantine inspectors have joined the MPI in the last 14 months and the MPI is planning to recruit a further 24 quarantine inspectors in March next year. Supplementary question, Shane Arden. What other uh, announcements has he made on strengthening New Zealand's biosecurity systems? Honourable Nathan Guy. Last week I also unveiled one of the 12 new X-ray machines that have been installed in Auckland, Christchurch, Wellington and Queenstown airports and Auckland's International Mail Centre. The modern machines mean that MPI will be able to screen items with greater accuracy and image quality. This will further strengthen our biosecurity system as border staff will be better equipped to spot risk items before they enter New Zealand. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Shane Arden. Why is the government placing such a high priority on biosecurity? Honourable Nathan Guy. New Zealand's primary industries account for 72 per cent of New Zealand's merchandise exports and of course they are the backbone of the New Zealand economy. It's vital that we protect these industries from biological risks associated with import pests and diseases. That is why biosecurity is my number one priority and it is why last week's announcements are the latest in a range of actions taken by this government to boost biosecurity. Supplementary question, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, do the 56 biosecurity incursions under his government provide enough evidence of his biosecurity failure, or does he now need X-ray machines to prove that cutbacks to staffing, cuts to funding, and the introduction of species such as alpine newts, angry birds, black grass seeds, and wood termites have undermined New Zealand's biosecurity reputation and put the whole New Zealand economy at risk. I, Mr Speaker, I, the member's Nathan rhetoric guy. is inaccurate. What the member needs to understand, in 2007, I've got hold of a report recently that show that in 2007 that government was warned they have a number of gaps and inconsistencies in the biosecurity system. They have limited progress has been made in addressing these issues and that they've been given insufficient priority. If the member wants me to go through a list of incursions under that Labor government's watch, I'm happy to do it. In order, fact, I order, will do it. Order, that won't be necessary. <laughs> Point of order, the Honourable Damien Thank you. I seek leave to table a list of uh, 50 incursions that have occurred since from 2050 from 2008 to 2012, Mr Speaker. And that order, I just need to uh, clarify the um, origin of that document. Uh, it's an answer to a parliamentary question. Um, well, then, if it's an answer to a parliamentary question, it's available to all members. Uh, point, point, of order, point of order, the Honourable well, Damien O'Connor. this is another... I seek leave to table another paper, Mr Speaker. Well, can I... If it's again, if it's an answer to a parliamentary question... Yes, it is, yeah. but I'm not sure that everyone has, order, has access order. to... Order. Everybody has access to parliamentary questions once they're published. Question number 12, Claire Curran. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is...